but it also comes with celery, carrots, and the uh oh, um, oh, um, oh. Um. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Daniel and I am back with another MD Takeover video. As y'all can see, unfortunately, Maya is not here. Maya is being a good friend and she is helping a friend of hers who is moving through what sounds like a very stressful move. But anyway, me and Bella sitting here and we done had us a little, um, a little day together or whatever. So I just got some food and I thought I would turn the camera on and invite y'all into me and Bella's little, our little food day. Yeah, Bella's sitting over here because she won't, but I have. But before we get into this video, make sure you stop what you're doing. Like this video, comment down below, hit that subscribe button if you're new to our channel. Welcome to our channel. We have new content for you guys every Tuesday and Thursday. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss it. So, oh my God, I'm so used to having Maya here. I don't know what to do. I gotta do this all by myself. Y'all, look, so today, you know, I love to support a local business, love to support family. So today I'm supporting uh, a cousin of mine, my favorite cousin. Shh, don't tell, don't tell my other cousins. My favorite cousin, you know who you are, cousin. Um, so a cousin of mine has started doing almost like a little pop-up um, thing and she is selling, um, like most recently she's been doing chicken wings and y'all know me and Maya love a good chicken wing. So last time she did it, I wasn't able to support her. So I wanted to make sure that I supported her this time. Her business is called uh, Munchies Five Foods. And I was like, what the five stand for? The five stands for stars. So Munchies Five Star Foods. And her little motto is we're winging it because you get it, chicken wings, winging it, <laughs> whatever. So uh, I will link, um, I'll link her, her Facebook information because she promotes on Facebook for her uh, for her food. So I'll link her Facebook information. If any of y'all are in like the Hammond area, Tangeville, Paris, anything like that, and y'all want to get a plate from her, you can hit her up on Facebook and get that plate. I mean, get into this, like, y'all, do y'all see that? Like, need I thaw? I know. Wow. So what we have here, she has loaded fries. It's chili, cheese, bacon, and jalapenos. Ay, senor. Then she has her, um, her five sauce here. So these wings here are gonna be her five sauce. And then this is something that Maya created that I actually like. It's um, like buffalo sauce, a hot buffalo. It's like uh, spicy lemon pepper. So it's uh, the hot sauce with lemon pepper sauce added to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pray and get into this because y'all I'm hungry. I haven't eaten today. No, that's the lot I have some day. So I'm gonna go ahead and pray. Father God, again, Lord, I just wanna thank you for the chicken and I thank you for the wing. Lord, you know I love me some chicken wings. Oh God, I just love chicken. God, I just had to take a moment for the chicken. But God, I just pray that you would let this food nourish my body, Lord God. Touch my cousin who made the food. God, I pray that you would just bless her business and let it grow, Lord God, tenfold. Lord, you know what she is trying to do with this business. And God, I just pray that you would just bless each and every one of the viewers that watches this video, Lord God, that that their, that their seed for watching this video and sowing into us will be returned to them, Lord God. It's in your name I do pray. Amen. So I forgot to mention her boxes also come with... Um, so she has the wings. I got the box with 10 wings because I'm probably going to eat on it. Um, I'm probably going to make it like two meals, probably three because my stomach just be weird. But it also comes with celery, carrots, and uh, oh, oh, oh. I don't know. I made a mess, y'all. I fixed it. Anyway, so her box, not only does it come with the loaded fries, it comes with your wings, but you also get um, cake celery and um a drink so it's not bad and for the 10 wings it was only 13 bucks so if y'all in the hammond tangible parish livingston parish st tammany parish baton rouge east baton rouge parish anything like that if y'all in louisiana hit her up so you can get one of these boxes okay going in for the bite on the fries mm-hmm mm -hmm. yes sir i like that that's good mm. yes lord mm-hmm Mmm, mm, that's good. All right, cousin. Let me see you. I'm working with a little something, something. Mmm, mmm. I got me some water, cuz. I didn't have too much coffee today. I can't drink no other soda. Y'all, Bella's here looking at me like, can I have some? Mm-mm. 
Mm-mm. Can't have this. Y'all, I'm going to talk to y'all, but I just got to... I'm just trying to taste this food first because I'm hungry. So this is... This is her um, five wing sauce. I'm gonna try this one first because I don't know how this one tastes. I haven't had this one. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. That's good. Wait. This tastes like a. Okay. It's giving like like sweet Asian chili type like. Sweet vibes with like spicy on the back end. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. And then too, I'm one of those people, I don't really like, and this might be controversial, I don't really like buku sauce on my wings. Oh. You need to leave. Don't come for me in the comments, don't do that. So I like that this is like, it's coated just perfectly for me. Put it like that, it's coated just perfectly. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's giving everything you need to give, Lord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do what I need to do. Okay, going in for... Y'all, look at that. Ooh, just... Yes, Lord. Going in for... This is that spicy lemon pepper. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm, Lord, you know. Mmm, that's so good. Cousin, you just sat up here and did the thing. You just sat up here and did the thing. Oh, I love a good chicken wing. Y'all, look, I know some of y'all that watch this like wing stop and, and, and stuff. Baby, this is better than wing stop in my opinion. So I'm just saying. But on the real, I want to talk to y'all too. Have a little conversation, if you will. Because Maya and I were talking before she left this morning. Um, we've shared with y'all that Maya and I are on this sort of um, like mental wellness journey. And one thing that, that like I had to understand about wellness, just in general, not even you know mental wellness, but just wellness in general, Wellness is like a, it's like a proactive thing, you know, like wellness is actively like seeking to be well versus just like something happens and then you go to the doctor, you know? So with mental wellness, Maya and I are on this journey of exploring our traumas and exploring um, you know, our anxiety our depression, just and exploring the reasons that that you know we deal with the things that we deal with and the things that have like contributed to how we feel and how we process the world and the issues that we have with that. We were having this conversation this morning, and one thing about me, um, because I get I'm a peculiar person. Me, and my mama, tells me. My mom tell me, she said, other people don't think like, people don't think like you do, you know? Um, or not everybody think like you do, is what she would say. And it's, I mean, it's true, like, no, like, two people think exactly the same, because no two people's experiences are the same, you know? So, of course, we all think differently. But one thing that was sort of on my mind this morning was the fact that sort of with, with energy, and like the exchange of energy that we have in, in our relations with people, like we have to be so very careful and cautious and sort of to an extent selfish with the exchange of energy that we have with people because for instance, in my case, I'm in grad school, I'm teaching. And at one point, like I was working a job as a restaurant manager, you know, while still being in school and still doing all this stuff and still trying to be a good son and a good brother and, and stuff. And what was happening was I was giving so much of myself to all these people, just giving, 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 giving. But I wasn't, I didn't know how to how to pour back into myself. Because here's the thing, look, if it can't nobody pour back into yourself like you and the Lord can. Because these people out here, child, when I tell you, can't nobody, look, 
even if they could, you can't expect anybody else to like pour into you, respect you and give you what you need to give if you don't even know how to give that to yourself, you know? So that's sort of been on my mind recently and I've been thinking about how, you know, in all the capacities that I still am like in writing my thesis for grad school, you know, of course in, in school, they want you to make a a, a new contrib a contribution to the field that you're in and all those things. It's, it's giving so much and teaching, I mean, teaching is literally imparting knowledge into somebody else. You know, you're giving the knowledge that you have worked and you've learned and you've researched, you're giving that to somebody else. So you have to make sure that you're pouring back into yourself. And for so long, I thought that was just like sleeping in or, you know, watching Grey's Anatomy until three or four o'clock in the morning or having a glass of wine after, after work. And I really had to realize that like, no, you, that's not, at least not for me. Maybe for some of y'all, that's how you pour back into yourself. But like for me, that's not, that's not pouring back into myself. That's just sort of idle time away. For me, I had to realize that, you know, pouring back into myself was investing in myself, like taking time to get back to do the things that I love. Like one thing I love to do is I love, I love food and I love to cook. So pouring back into myself would, would be like learning how to, how to cook a new dish or like cooking a dish for myself and then sitting down and getting down to eat it or, you know, getting to read a book and, and, and gain knowledge and, and better myself or hanging out with a group of people that, you know, you're not the you're not the smartest person in the room. My mom always told me growing up, you never want to be the smartest person in the room. You always want to have someone that you can look up to, somebody that you can learn from and, and, and things like that. So I, I, I've always carried that with me, but it's like up until recently, I never was able to understand it because, I mean, for one, intelligence is such a, is such a complex thing to sort of, you know, break down but it's true, you know, and I've really had to take time and I even took time away from therapy. I told my therapist, I said, I just needed, like I needed silence. I needed, I took what, like three months off from therapy because I, I needed silence and I needed to just be able to listen. Like I needed to, you know, take stock of, of what was around me before I can articulate it, before I can make changes. Like I need to actually see what is going on? Yeah, I'm sorry I keep getting distracted and I keep like, you know, umming or whatever. This food is just good. But I really just had to take stock of what was going on around me, you know, so that I could then therefore go to the therapy, talk with my therapist about that and then brainstorm how I can make changes, you know? So when I did that, I had to start Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately and fortunately, I had to start removing people out of my life. I had to start loving people from a distance. Like my, my love for certain people has never changed, but I realized that certain people were taken from me and taken from me and taken from me so much so that I couldn't always refill myself or refill what those people were taking from me. And you know, that's not inherently a bad thing. You just have to sort of limit how much you let people take from you and, and, and how often you let people take from you, you know? And that's especially hard when you're in a place that you don't know how to how to refill yourself. And part of refilling myself is, you know, I'm a, I'm a very spiritual person. So part of that refilling process comes from, you know, my relationship with God and, you know, allowing God to refill me too. But the Bible talks about how you know, faith without works is dead. So I just can't sit there and be like, God, feel me, God, feel me, God, feel me. When I don't take action, you know, in the in the flesh to, to feel myself as well. And I, I look, I won't turn this into a sermon, but it's just a thought. And I guess I just wanted to share it with y'all that we really need to be cognizant of, of what we're giving to other people and what we're giving to ourselves. Because you can't pour from a cup that's empty. We've talked about that already. You can't because that's only going to lead to lack on your end. 
whether that's financial life, whether that's like, you know, in other areas, that's all it's going to lead to. And you can't touch and help other people if you're lacking yourself, you know? You have to give from your overflow. So I've really just been, and I'm not trying to say I have all the answers because Lord knows I don't, but I'm really just on this journey of trying to make sure that each and every day, like when I go to teach, when I approach my writing, I approach my research, I approach whatever that I come, I come to it in the being as full as I know how, you know, um, because that's where I'm going to have the, the best impact. If I take the time and invest in myself and fill myself and, and make me the best me that I can be, and that's just a better version of myself that I can therefore share with the world that I can share with my family, that I can share with whomever I decide to to share it with. But it's it's an active process. It's not something that you can sort of do from the sideline, you know? Like, you can't win the soccer game if you're on the sideline cheering. It's not how it works. You have to get in the game. You have to be active. You have to, you know, involve yourselves with other people. So... That's my little thought of the day. A little word, if you will. Because child, Lord knows we all need a little word. A little word of encouragement. Or whatever. But I just hope that y'all take from this video, you know, that... Or heed my warning, warning rather. Just to make sure that, that you're full. Because if not, it'll lead to burnout. And it'll lead to exhaustion. It'll lead to frustration. And all those things. And that's not what we want. We want to... We want the takeover over gang to be uh, a gang that's that's whole, that's well, that's full, that's wealthy. And I don't mean rich. I mean wealthy and intelligent and and, and capable. So I hope y'all, if y'all haven't started or you don't feel like you are um, in a place of wellness, I hope you will join Maya and I on this journey of wellness and and really dive into what ways that you can strengthen yourself and you can build yourself up and you can pour back into yourself because who else gonna do it? Besides the Lord, the lady said, if God don't do it, it won't get done. But I'm telling you, if you and the Lord don't work together and do it, then it ain't gonna get done. Okay, you hear me? That shall work for the day. But yeah, I'm going on and finish with the wings because cousin did this thing and at that kitchen. Okay, you hear me? Make sure y'all y'all cut that down. I'm gonna put her I'm gonna put her links down in the bio. But Munch is five star food. That's what it's called. So y'all be on the lookout for it because look, when it blow up, I want to be in that number, okay? Because I'm trying to be one of them saints marching in. But y'all, thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment down below, hit the subscribe button if you're new to our channel. Thank you for watching this video all the way through and we will see y'all back again. Hopefully next time I'll be back with me because I ain't used to doing all this by myself. That's a lot of talking. That's a lot of talking. So hopefully sits back with me. And we will catch y'all every Tuesday and Thursday. Bye. Love y'all.